We've got another Mysterious Force in the Woods movie, and this one features Oscar winner Halle Berry. Let's talk about Never Let Go. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new Halle Berry movie, Never Let Go. Uh, this was directed by uh, Alexandra Aja, uh, who definitely has some experience in the horror genre. Um, he's done The Hill ha Hills Have Eyes, um, the 2006 version. Uh, Piranha 3D, that was, uh, you know, kind of a campy, popular uh, horror movie. And Crawl from 2019, which uh, was was pretty solid. That was about the, the alligator. Um, I guess they were down in, in the in Florida or the bayou or something. But uh, that, that was pretty, you know, fun. Uh, also sort of campy horror movie, I guess. Uh, but anyway, before we launch into the specifics of this film, Never Let Go, uh, let me welcome you back to Dan Reviews It. If you are one of my subscribers already, thank you so much. Uh, but if you're not, please consider subscribing below. Uh, click that notification bell as well so you get all my uh, my video drops. Uh, but you could just like this video or comment below as well. That stuff, of course, helps the channel out as well. All right, so we've got uh, Halle Berry here as Mama. It's her and her two kids, uh, played by Percy Daggs IV uh, as Nolan and Anthony B. Jenkins as Samuel. And, um, you know, this this really is, I mean, there's very, very few people other than the three of them in this movie. But essentially, they live, uh, you know, remotely in the woods. And uh, Mama has told them that, uh, hey, there is a supernatural force known as the evil uh, in the in, in that's all over the world, and it is trying to get to you. So uh, we always have to stay attached to these ropes if we venture out for food or whatever in the woods. Um, and that is the the never let go, um, you know, portion from the title, because uh, yeah, there's 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 a lot going on. However. Um, you know, this is one of those movies that doesn't exactly uh, play its full hand um, because, you know, how much of this is in Mama's mind, uh, how much of it is real. Um, it's yet to be determined, I guess. Um, you know, it's sort of up to the viewer to decide. I certainly have my theories on it. Um, and uh, I, I would I would say that it does sort of lean in that direction, um, you know, uh, look at uh, mental illness more than anything. But there are some things that happen in this movie that maybe can't be quite explained away uh, by that either. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, this is a little bit like we had kind of a, a movie earlier in the year um, with similar themes, um, you know, a house in the middle of the woods supernatural forces uh at play and that was called the watchers um and this is probably about on par with that movie um not everything makes sense here um i, I will say um but i have to admit uh having some actors with some real gravitas does help um you know holly berry has has sort of done now this is at least the third movie um, in the last, let's say, 10 years where she is uh, trying to help uh, young children. We had The Call, uh, which was Dakota Fanning was uh, locked in the car. She was being kidnapped and Halle Berry was a 911 operator. And then you had this other movie, which I can't remember what it was called, but it was her own uh, kid was being taken. And so she had to, it was basically like a car chase movie. She was, you know, uh, trying to get to him. Um, and I've seen both of those movies like multiple times. The Call, I think I've seen probably four times. Um, and, uh, you know, they're fun. But look, Halle Berry uh, certainly has a lane at this point, and maybe that's it, um, you know, saving the children. But the real stunner here is the two kids. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna say their names again here. Um, so the two kids are played by Percy Daggs IV and Anthony B. Jenkins. They are great. And I say this all the time when there's there's really good kid actors from out of nowhere in movies um, and, and TV, I guess, to a lesser degree. But um, I'm always impressed when you have a really, really good kid actor, um, especially one in a movie like this where they have to really um, express a range of emotions and they have to scream a lot and be, um, you know, genuinely looking terrified and stuff. Um, you know, I think both of these kids uh, pull that off really, really well. Um, so I, I do have to give the movie props for that. But overall, it's quite a mixed bag. Um, it, it does get, I guess, a little bit campy in parts, um, like all of this director's movies seem to, um, you know, scary or not. But yeah, there there are some genuine uh, moments of this movie um, where I was like, oh no, you know, like don't do that. Or, oh God, you know, there, there's, you know, a little bit of a gore factor or whatever. Um, 
And there's a few people, like I said, that do sort of enter the picture um, and leave uh, quickly. They're usually only in one scene, and there's only maybe four or five other people in this whole movie um, other than these main three. So um, it's definitely like a, a close-knit group. Um, I, I will say that I, I think it, it falls apart um, in the third act for sure. Um, it had sort of potential and momentum, and then, uh, you know, one of the major characters exits the film, and it just gets, it, it, it sort of turns in tone, and not one um, that I, I thought was particularly gripping. So, yeah, definitely a bit of a mixed pack for me. I think this is about probably the same grade I gave to The Watchers. I will leave Never Let Go with a C. Um, not terrible, but but certainly um, I could, could use some tweaking. But those kid actors, look out for them, because uh, they, they were really great in this. All right, thank you for watching Dave Reviews It. I'll see you next time.